Greetings, fellow truth seekers. This is an Aiken Block video production. Herein we expose errors taught by the institutional churches, most of which use corrupt Bibles. All scriptures are quoted from the 1611 Authorized King James Bible, first printing off the press in 1611 and approved by King James and the Translation Committee. Enjoy. The Marriage Supper as a Picture of the Rapture Ridiculous Rapture Arguments Number 3 I've heard many times in different churches that the marriage supper of the Lamb is a picture of the rapture. I believe I've heard that off of the pulpit of Perry Stone, John Hagee, and other apostate pastors. They say that the marriage supper of the Lamb is a picture of the rapture, and here's how they argue that. They say that in the Jewish marriage ceremony, it begins with the groom coming into the city or village from outside the village, and the people go out to meet the groom. And that's true. That is how the marriage ceremony was started in the Jewish tradition. The people would go out to meet the groom. And so what the rapture teachers teach is, well, there you have a picture of the church going out to meet the Messiah as he comes, which means a rapture. But here's the problem. That's where they stop. Because in the rapture argument, they have to go away for seven years. Because they get raptured before the tribulation. That's the argument. And so, if they go out to meet the groom, then they have to disappear for seven years, and then come back for the wedding ceremony. Well, that's absurd. It's ridiculous. Because that's not what the Jewish people did. And they came back immediately to escort the groom back to the city. They didn't disappear for seven years and then come back and finish up. So that makes their argument absurd and ridiculous. Indeed, the tradition of marriage in the Jewish communities was not a picture of the rapture. It does not support the rapture in any way, shape, or form. Simply the people go out to meet the groom and come right back into the city. They didn't disappear for seven years, wait around for seven years, and then come back and finish up their business. No seven years of waiting. But this is typical of dispensational futurist teaching, and the cornerstone of that teaching is the rapture. Everybody loves the rapture. The apostate pastors love to tickle the ears of the foolish Christians who will believe anything. Since most people don't study these arguments to see if they're legitimate, but have a predisposition toward this thing called the rapture, they'll believe anything. Study to show yourself approved. That is God's commandment to us as believers. Don't buy into every ear-tickling argument that comes off the pulpits of famous pastors. Most of them are in it for the money, and they have a lot of money. Do a Google search. You can find out how much money these guys have. They are not poor men. And you know what Jesus said about that. If you don't, go back and listen to my video on this subject. Thank you for listening. If you're a rapture believer, and this is my first video you've listened to, go back and listen to the others. Do some homework. Keep an open heart and an open mind. And take all things prayerfully before the Lord. Let God be true and every man a liar. May God go with you in all your studies. You've been watching an Aiken Block video production. Many thanks for watching. Please give it prayerful consideration. May the Lord guide and keep you.